Hey, Guy Cochran here today, and we're going to be taking a look at a new recorder from Tascam called the DR40. This is an exciting new development because this unit is the first one under $200 that has XLR inputs. What we're going to do is we're going to jump right in and we're going to listen to a couple different microphones. We're going to listen to a large diaphragm condenser. We're going to listen to a shotgun. We're going to listen to a lavalier. We're going to listen to a dynamic handheld. And then we're going to pipe in a Mackie mixer and we're going to listen to this large diaphragm condenser again through the line level input. So we're going to try a variety of different things. Let's get right to it. So I'm using a green screen technology today. You can see that I can wave my hand in front of this PowerPoint presentation. Apologize it's not perfect like the high-end weatherman, but it's going to be good enough for our show. So we're going to switch over to a different camera here. And this close-up camera allows you guys to see what's going on. So hopefully you guys can appreciate this and uh, you guys enjoy this session. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check out the record mode. So the record mode that we have it set up for right now is recording just the internal stereo mics. And a lot of people are going to record that way, but for us, we want to record via the XLR input. So we're going to drop down to the source and we're going to change this from internal mic stereo. Uh, we're going to move it all the way up to external one and two. So that would be the normal record mode. So most people are going to record like that. But this one actually has something even cooler. Inside, you can jump over to dual and now, if we change that source back over to our external microphones, we can then pick levels. So we could say, hey, I wanna, I wanna record my second track at, let's just say, negative 10 dB lower. So let's jump back over to home and let's hit the record and let's see what this looks like. So if we hit record right yeah. now, so we, we get the counter, it's counting down, and we're recording right now. So we're actually peaking, so I'm going to turn it down, 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 down. So you can see the, the two different levels. You can see that the top track is our, wow, I'm still a little too hot. I'm pressing the input level, which is on the side here, and that looks pretty good now. I'm still kind of peaking, but you can see the nice safety track that we have down below. So this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone and you can hear the quality of this. And we're gonna jump to just being quiet so we can hear how good the internal preamps are in this unit. Pretty decent. Now we're gonna compare another microphone. We're gonna go jump over to a shotgun microphone. So now we've got the road. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna turn up our levels a bit. So now we're at 75, we're at 80. We're at 80, we're gonna bring it up all the way up to 90. We're at 90. So we're about two feet away, maybe three feet. So shotgun microphones sound best within two feet. So if we can get this microphone very close, we're gonna have a, a better sound and we've got that ability to keep it from, from clipping by using that second safety track. So again, this is the Rode NTG1. Let's go a little bit further. So now we're about three feet away and we're inside of a room that's not super treated, but there's some def definitely some reflections in this room. So we're gonna be quiet so you guys can, we're gonna be quiet so you guys can hear what you might be getting if you're using this lovely shotgun microphone inside of a inside of a room that is uh, got some pretty bare walls but also it's got some some sound absorption and we're just gonna be quiet for a second so we could listen to the noise floor all right next microphone will be the lavalier All right, so we've got this recording pretty hot too. Peaking, 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 peaking. I think I'm gonna wind up using the second track more. Uh, this is the MXL FR355 kit. So inside of this kit, you get two different microphones. You get an Omni and you get a cardioid. So these, these two lobs, you get two in the kit for under 100 bucks. So I just wanted to let you guys hear this. And the smaller the microphone, generally the, the, the capsule, 
the more self noise that you're going to get. So take a listen to this microphone. It's actually the microphone that's going to be hissy, not the recorder, but let's just take a listen. Next microphone that we have here is a pretty popular microphone. This is the Sennheiser 835, similar to, you know, good old Shure SM58. So let's listen to the self noise of this one. Not bad. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump on over to this Mackie mixer and we're going to hook up the line level on this one so let's give it a shot hey 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 so now we're listening hey 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 Now we're listening to the preamps coming out of the Mackie 1402 VLZ mixer, and we're feeding into this. We're feeding into this recorder via line level, and listen to the self noise now. So that's it, folks. Hope you guys enjoy this session. This is. Again, the Tascam DR40. Four channel portable recorder. Hope you guys enjoy this session. I'll catch you next time.